Hi everyone, in this video we will discuss the difference between JPA and Hibernate. So before I uh, deep dive into the difference between JPA and Hibernate, let's first familiar with what is the ORM that is object relational mapping and what is the JPA and then what is a Hibernate and then we will see the difference between JPA and Hibernate. All right. And uh, so I have created a, a simple uh, uh, you know, Hibernate application and I will show you the exact difference between JPA and Hibernate with an example in Eclipse ID. All right, let's get started. So first we will see what is ORM, that is Object Relational Mapping. So Object Relational Mapping is simply the process of persisting any Java object directly into a database table. So usually the name of the object be, being uh, you know persisted becomes the name of the table and each field within the, that object becomes a column. All right. So this is uh, the definition of ORM. Now let us see what is JPA, that is Java Persistence API. All right. So we, we saw that ORM uh, you know, is a technique uh, which we can use to persist directly a Java domain object into a relational database table. And uh, in case of Java Persistent API, so JPA provides a specification for persisting, reading, and managing data from your Java object to the relational tables in the database. All right, so as definition says, it suggests the API. All right, it's only the specification. There is no implementation for the API. All right, so Java Persistent API, it exposes the interface and there is no implementation exists uh, for the JPA. All right, there should be a third party implementation for the JPA that I will, uh, I will, I will see in a bit later. All right, so JPA specifies that the set up rules and the guidelines for developing the interfaces that follow standards. All right, in short, JPA is just the guidelines to implement the object relational mapping and there is no underlying code for the implementation. So now let us see what is a Hibernate. So Hibernate is an object relational mapping tool that provides an implementation of the GPA. All right, so just we saw the GPA, right? So GPA is just a specification or it's just a API and it exposes the interfaces. There is no underlying implementation for it, but Hibernate is one of the uh, you know implementation of GPA and Hibernate is the most mature GPA implementations around with a huge community backing the project. All right. Hibernate provides a reference implementation of the persistent API. All right. That makes a great choice as a ORM tool with the benefits of loose coupling. All right. So Hibernate is one of the popular implementation of Java persistent API. And the loose coupling, it means that whenever we use a JPA, there can be any implementation. For example, if we are using Hibernate implementation, then later we can change the Hibernate with Eclipse link. That is what the loose coupling, all right. So anytime we can able to change the implementation. So now we understood the ORM and JPA and Hibernate. Now let us see the difference between JPA and Hibernate. So as we know that JPA is a specification for accessing, persisting and managing the data between Java objects and the relational database. So as the definition says, it's just a API or it's just the only specification. There is no implementation for the API. All right. And uh, we, we just, uh, you know, we know that JPA is just the guidelines to implement the object relational mapping and there is no underlying code for the implementation. Whereas Hibernate is the actual implementation of the JPA guidelines. Okay. So Hibernate is a JPA provider. Whenever there is a new changes to the specification, Hibernate would release its up updated implementation for the JPA specification. All right. So if there are any you know changes in the JPA specification, then Hibernate will you know update the implementation for the specification and it will release as an updated implementation. All right. So in short, uh, JPA is an interface while Hibernate is the implementation. Okay. So the benefit of uh, this is that you can swap out the Hibernate implementation of JPA for another implementation of the JPA specification. For example, if you are using Hibernate uh, for the uh, as a ORM tool, then later you can replace 
Hibernate implementation with the Eclipse link because JPA provides a load coupling, right? There are multiple implementations are available for the JPA. All right. Now we have seen the difference between JPA and Hibernate. Now what I will do, I will show you this difference with an example. So I have created a sample Hibernate demo application uh, in Eclipse ID. Let me switch to the Eclipse ID. So I am in Eclipse ID. So here you can see Hibernate Hello World example. So this is the Hibernate uh, example. And in a, this is the, basically a Maven project. And here look at here, there, there are Maven dependencies. So look at here, this is a Java Persistence API. So this is the JPA, all right? And look at its internal implementation. So it just exposes the interfaces and uh, uh, you know there is no underlying implementation for it. All right. So look at here the Hibernate core dependency. So this is the jar file that will implement the JPA interfaces. All right. So let me show you one of the implementation. So there is a session factory interface in uh, Hibernate. Okay. So there is a session factory interface uh, that is uh, present in a Hibernate framework. And look at here, session factory interface, it extends entity manager factory. So entity manager factory, it is the, this is the interface of JPA. All right, it is not, in, it is not the, uh, you know, part of Hibernate. It is a part of JPA. Look at here, the package name entity manager factory. all right. So look at here, it means that Hibernate just implements this interface and this interface is the part of JPA. Now let us see the implementation of this interface. So session factory extends entity manager factory and let us see the implementation of session factory. So here is the session factory implementation. So this class will implement all the methods uh, of uh, this interface, entity manager factory interface. So let me show you. So entity manager factory interface has one of the method that is create entity manager. And let us see its implementation in Hibernate. Yeah, so here you can see uh, this is the implementation class. Session factory IMPL. And let us search for create entity manager method. Yeah, here we go. So look at here. In this class, this method is override. And provided the implementation, all right? This means that JPA provides the interfaces and Hibernate implements the interfaces. So just we saw the example, right? Just we have seen the example of this particular method that is create entity manager. All right, I hope you got the difference between JPA and Hibernate. So I hope you found, found this video useful. Uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel uh, and uh, whenever I will publish a new videos, you will get notified. Thanks for watching, I will see you in the next video.